What we're trying to create is uh, what you can think of as a programmable bandage, essentially, for patient-specific traumatic wounds. Essentially, we have nanofibers, which are on a size scale, which mimics the dominant protein inside the body, collagen. So it's a 100 to 300 nanometers, much smaller than one hair on your head. And what we've done now, we've made these hollow within the inside of these fibers, and the sheath is porous, which means it has a lot of holes in it. You can think of it as a, as a tiny soaker hose. What we've um, thought about from this process is if you have a wounded warfighter, for example, that has a, a large, expansive wound. So on the outside, what we need to do is, is create an antimicrobial, antibacterial surface. But we don't want it to stop there. As you progress into the wound, we want to not only deliver pain relief, we also want to control the tissue engineering regenerative medicine. So stem cells, which we can also deliver by taking a little bit of this person's fat, we can get stem cells from that fat. And based on what the scaffold is delivering, we can control those stem cells to, to regenerate new tissue at the site. What we do in the lab as a whole to promote this is I have a variety of graduate and undergraduate students that look at how do we control stem cell fate in combination with how do we do these controlled release scaffolds. So the definition of a stem cell is that you can turn it into many different types of cells. So in our lab we mostly focus on musculoskeletal tissue, so bone, cartilage, tendon. So what we want to do is take these stem cells from the fat and we want to put them on different, what we call substrate stiffnesses. You could think of bone as being like a hard piece of glass, whereas cartilage is a little, is a little softer. It's, it's closer to jello, not quite as soft as jello. So basically what we can do is change the stiffness of what you're actually growing the cells on to help enhance taking these stem cells into different types. So you can turn them into bone cells, you can turn them into cartilage cells and then you can put them back into the patient if they have an injury. So it's a multi-layer scaffold that because of the fibers diffusional properties can deliver all of these different compounds and, and hopefully regenerate tissue and, and stop infection simultaneously.